Hi, this is your girl, Dr. Lexi, and we are here with BET Her Fight Against Breast Cancer. We are honoring none other than the amazing Vanessa Bell Calloway, celebrating 10 years of being cancer free and her new campaign, Know Your Girls. We are here on the pink carpet and we are about to interview some survivors, some caretakers, some family members, and all of those that have been impacted by this deadly disease. We are going to unite and beat breast cancer. Can you tell me what keeps you going every day? Um, what ke keeps me going is my faith, um, knowing that uh, this is just a hiccup um, and that I will be victorious in this fight. Um, yes. Faith in, in God um, and also a good solid foundation with my friends and family who uh, put love around me and raise me up when I'm feeling down um, and a wonderful, wonderful husband who is standing right by my side and let me know that this is not the end, that this is the beginning and we have forever to go. One in four women are affected by breast cancer. And so that means that out of four people in a room that one person will be impacted by breast cancer. So whether it's you or your mom or your sister or someone right. will be impacted by this disease. So tell me this, with the seven sisters and your mom of having to go through this, what did you learn about family and how important that is when you're fighting things like this? Well, it's been together. It's been staying together, being together, you know, going through whatever you need to go through with life is together. You know, family, you have to be close, and that's pretty much all you have. If you don't have no one else, uh, you know, family is number one. So we know that the Charge Up Pink campaign is really designed to help celebrate survivors, caregivers, and healthcare professionals. And we want women to focus on what they have in front of them instead of the the debilitating disease that tried to come in and change their lives. So working with Susan G. Coleman, you guys do a lot of things. Kind of tell us, if you don't mind, give us a, a few fast facts about breast cancer and how it impacts us. Well, so in Atlanta, black women are 45% more likely to die of breast cancer than our Caucasian counterparts, and we are 30% more likely to be diagnosed at a later stage. So at Coleman Atlanta, that's our main focus, is to try to get this information to our community and to get these women screened so that we can, we can change those numbers. How many years have you been a survivor? Four wonderful years I've been a survivor. Awesome, four <laughs> wonderful years. So tell me this, if you don't mind. What was it like when you first got the news? How, how did you feel? And how did that change after you know, going through your treatment? Well, I would say for me, it was a little bit different because I am a nurse and I work at a treatment center. So I've seen the, I had seen the journey like a year before I was diagnosed. So I kind of knew firsthand what some of the, you know, some of the journey would be like. So for me, it was a little bit easier okay. than most because I had a first-hand look at it but um, because I have kids of course that made it a little more challenging right but um, with the help of God we got through and here we are four years later so let me ask you this was it a self-exam or was it during your annual that you found it neither neither I didn't feel anything there was nothing abnormal I just felt like I needed a mammogram so I went into my doctor and said hey I think I need a mammogram and he was like you know your body better than I do so We'll do it. Well, I'm so proud of you for Thank being you. brave enough to not be afraid yes. because sometimes we think that if we don't face it, then we don't have to fight it. Right. But right. I'm so glad that you were able to get it detected early and that you're four years yes. cancer free. Yes. We're beating breast cancer, yes, y'all. we are. We're kicking some butt. We are. So as a man that was impacted by virtue of his family, tell me what are men able to do to help women going through this fight? Because it's truly a fight. You know what? I, j I would say be supportive. I would say, you know, just be understanding, you know, educate, 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 learn about uh, breast cancer and just be there for these women through that process. Y'all women, y'all are our queens mm -hmm. and we have to be there. We have to support you, you know, and, and you know, just, just be there. Absolutely. Just absolutely be there. And like I said, for nonprofits like Charge Up, stuff like that, come out, volunteer, learn, yes. talk to people, yes. get involved with a community. You would be surprised. I mean, just a conversation could just turn turn somebody's day around that, that might be fighting cancer. Yes. What would you encourage people to do when they know someone that's going through this fight? Um, I would say be there when you say you will. A lot of times people say, if you need me, call me. Um, 
if you need anything, just let me know. Well, you know what? Take that initiative and just go do something anyway. That's whether you do laundry, yes. whether you wash dishes, whether you just take their kids and have a fun day. Because when you're fighting cancer, the whole family is in fight mode. That There's no bad. fun. There's yes. no um, like kicking back, letting your hair down. So you could just take their kids to Chuck E. Cheese. You could just take their kids to the park. They need to be kids again. You could give their spouse a free afternoon. Hey, go to the movies. Do whatever you want to do for you. Because it's a lonely battle being a caregiver. Yes. I learned that yes. from hearing my husband talk yes. about how lonely he was because they don't want to complain. No. You know, your kids are not going to complain. No. They want you to be well. But, you know, as a support person, just do something, anything, because it's going to be appreciated. You do it again. Strikes Janet again. Tell us about this collaboration that took place on tonight to bring all of this together. Well, I always work with Charge Up Campaign and Teresa, so I've supported her since day one. So when she called me and she said, BET reached out to her. She was like, you want to do it with me? I said, I'm going to go a step further. I have a venue for you, and let's go hard. Let's go hard on this. Uh, she was just thinking about it, something simple. I said, no, we're going to do this big because it means so much to both of us. So, yes. no, we don't do small stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we're going to take it to the next level. But we also know that we reached at least one person tonight Absolutely. that has a family member, whether it's male or female, that they're getting out there, they're getting their mammograms, they're doing their self exams or whatever. If we can get one, reach one person, then we did what we're supposed to do tonight. Well, listen, honey, you exceeded all expectations. But listen, you said it's near and dear to you. Tell us what, what does, tell me more about that. Oh, yeah, of course, I lost my mom to breast cancer. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lost my mom, my grandmother, my aunt, and a best friend to answer. So for me, it's really dear. And instead of just being depressed about it, I'm going to fight the fight for them. We're They're not fight. here, yes. but I'm going to fight the fight for them because I know that's what she would want. Absolutely, absolutely. We know that early detection is key. Yes, yes. Oh, I get my mammograms and I need, and I usually go live when I do them to make sure people know I'm here. Right. I'm here. I mean, we're all human. It's nothing to be ashamed of. That's but good. you want to catch it early. Absolutely. Early detection is the key. So as long as you catch it early and you do your self exams and don't be afraid to do it and, and take some girlfriends Make a day out of Make it. Make a party. Let's just yes. have a mammogram party. How yes. about that? Maybe we'll do that. We might do that. Okay. okay. I'll do that with Dr. Lexi, okay? <laughs> We're going to put that together, honey. More information to follow on that. <laughs> yes. But listen, again, the boss chick is always doing amazing things around Atlanta, but she is so much more a community advocate than anything else. And so we appreciate your philanthropy. We appreciate you giving back to the community. We appreciate you bringing all of us together to celebrate this very, very worthy cause. Yes, yes. So is there anything that you would like us to know as we bring this red carpet to a close? Um, that it doesn't stop here tonight. That's right. Tell somebody. Talk to somebody. Because even if it if it hasn't affected you personally, you know somebody, whether it's a friend's family member or a friend of a friend, talk to somebody because it could very well be you. Absolutely. Or that family member. So don't let it stop with just tonight. It has to keep going. Absolutely. The movement is not just because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Right. It's, it's every day. Absolutely. It's real life. I love it. I love it. So you heard it right here from the boss chick. It's every day. The fight continues. Yes. The battle continues. And we will win. Again, this is your girl, Dr. Lexi, with none other than the boss chick coming to you live from BET Fights Against Breast Cancer.